In the early 1960s, Cowboys coach Tom Landry implemented a revolutionary defensive scheme in Dallas called the Flex, and the Doomsday Defense was born. And over the next two generations, the Cowboys went from a powder puff to a powerhouse. However, for all its success, the Flex was not welcomed by all, because in order to be effective, it required patience, discipline, and commitment. I think what the Cowboys did, um, we're sort of in the vanguard of, of having a, a truly coordinated defensive philosophy where, where every part of the defense was meshing with the other, where the front part of the defense had to play along with the back and vice versa. Once I broke into the league, I was very disappointed uh, because of the system in Dallas. I didn't have no idea what the flex was really all about. Flex defense was pretty easy to learn, but very difficult to learn how to play. You could learn it, the concept of it, real easily. But you get out on the field and try to think and play, it's, it's difficult. The Flex was a defense designed to confuse and confound opposing offenses by taking away their strengths. In addition, success was achieved through the skills of the team collectively, rather than the talents of each individual. Our defense was basically uh, gap defense, only we were lined up head up, except for the strong defensive end, we were pretty well lined up head up, and we all had a certain gap. We could play inside, outside, or we'd play the flex. It didn't necessarily accentuate the ability of the individual. It wasn't, it wasn't the kind of system in which you guys were going to get huge sack totals, or it wasn't going to make any one individual look good. It was a totally coordinated defense. Everything was geared for us to have memorized what the other team did well and what they did in certain situations, on certain downs, in certain areas of the field, and when the score was either they were behind or ahead, and we knew, we knew basically what all their tendencies were. Though the flex may have been daring and different, it did help Doomsday dominate while bringing a pair of Super Bowl championships to Big D during the 70s. I think the players Ultimately, if you talk to them now, recognize that what Landry did in that system was, was in the long run the best way to play. 